Okay, hi everyone. My name is, according to my birth certificate, is a Brandon, and I have a marriage license, and it is a date of April 30th, 2004, and this video, you know, is for my family. I have a family, you know. And the way my family, you know, I was told that being married is a form of being a family, being a couple. They called it being a husband and a wife where I am the husband and my wife is my wife, you know. So, I believe in God. The God I believe in never said a name. So, the gods that other people talk about the ones who use names. I'm not sure of who or what they are, you know. Because the God I believe in never used any of those names as a name for God, you know. So it's weird. It's strange, you know. So, you know, as a witness for my God, people use a marriage license with the date of April 30th, and people said that their name was April Williams, or being said that their name was April Williams, and um, I was sexually abused and molested because people used an identity in a piece of paper or a marriage license in a shape, in a form, in an image and said that their name was April Williams and they did sick stuff with me and stuff like that and took me to places I didn't want to go to and uh I'm in his room right now, and they did something funny with some money and stuff like that. And I haven't been getting the stuff I'm supposed to be getting. And um, they had me locked up a whole bunch of times. They said it was a group of people and stuff like that. Some people told me that other people was playing something like they called the Olympians and Titans where they had male and female consorts. I didn't want any of those consorts. So my God should know according to this video that people said they had male and female consorts and they tried to get me to have sex with old people and underage people, and it'll be a nasty smell coming off of them people, and they had stuff like, it looked like grits or rice inside of a six parts and stuff like that, and they, they wanted me to have six with them so that they can get a smell or a six smell you know, it's like they were stanky and they smell bad and stuff like that. And they tried to use me for sex or whatever, you know. I don't know how many different people or beings tried to use the name April Williams. And it seemed like some kind of identity theft or fraud and sex abuse that they did to me. And, um... I was in a hotel at 
a hotel on Riverside Drive in Macon, Georgia. It's called um, the Red Carpet. It used to be called the Palm Tree. Uh, one of the people that was there, you know, saying that their name was April Williams, it seemed like it was a a a a a a a a a, a, a man or a dude, a guy inside of a girl's bag that dressed up like a girl or something like that. And they signed a whole bunch of papers. I saw the papers. It looked like some kind of contract. I pay rent every month. And I've been here since 2014 in the city of Macon, Georgia. You know, that's what I was told the city is called. That's what year I was told it was when I came here to Macon, Georgia. And those were not the papers that you sign when you pay the rent or when you get a receipt. It was a whole bunch of papers. It was like at least 20 or 30 pages. It looked like some kind of contract. It was something I never seen before. And I do mean eat because the person that was saying that their name was April Williams looked like something I never seen before. You know, they got mad at me and kicked me out of the room. And it was some dude there. I think they said his name was Andrew or whatever. And, uh, he seemed like a child molester or whatever. It seemed like the person that was there had sex with him. So, you know, my guy should know, you know, because I believe in God that it's been men dressing up like women and it's been dudes dressing up like ladies and they tried to have sex with me and they tried to do sex stuff with me and they didn't tell me that they was a man or a dude inside of a girl's clothes or inside of a girl's body or whatever kind of stuff that they was doing. You know, I'm not judging them. I'm not judging them. I'm just saying that it's sexual abuse and I was sexually abused because I've been a mental health patient since I was about five years old, ever since I was in elementary school taking medicine. It uh it's sex abuse what they did to me. It, um they tried to get me to sign contracts and papers and I said no. You know, they tried to say you can get a record deal or you can go to um, different places and stuff like that. You know, I would told them no. Um, what I had, uh, wanted to tell is that um, since I've been here, you know, I got videos with evidence too. People were saying they was going to get other people to do stuff to me. They was trying to bully me. People was talking about they was going to get a group of people to do this and that and other kind of stuff or bad stuff to me and stuff like that. They tried, people, um, it seemed like people tried to get me to have sex with their wife and their children and different people, boys and girls, and people the same gender as me. And I said, no, I don't do none of this stuff. And it seemed like some of the people actually had sex with me saying that their name was April Williams using a body and an image and I don't even know how they do this stuff. I don't even want to know how they do this stuff because it's just nasty. And so I was sexually abused from what they did. It um it was them people that called themselves a family, those bad families. Some of the people I named in the other videos and stuff like that and um I've been in this room, just me. So it's evidence that I always pay my rent and that I've been paying my rent. And I saw one of them people sign all them contracts and all of them papers. They definitely signed the contract. My name ain't supposed to be on them papers. My name is not supposed to be on any of those contracts that they signed. I was never writing a book. I was never making a TV show. I was never supposed to, oh, uh, join any of those groups and I did not. I never joined one of those groups where they say for life or for death or one of those groups where you have six to get sixteen. Some of the people say it's called getting fucked in. Nope, it's sexual abuse. It seemed like somebody tried to do it anyway, claiming that they was April Williams and some of the people said that those groups of people owe somebody a whole lot of money because they thought that I would like it, but I don't.
I don't like it. None of it. And it's their fault because they say they tried to do witchcraft. They said a person tried to predict the future and they tried to say what they thought I was going to do. And they tried to say what they thought I was going to like. And then I said, I don't like it. I don't want to do it. And so since they had promised somebody something in advance, and I never promised any of them any of this stuff, I never said the word promise, you know, stuff like that. So they was like, oh, uh, somebody got mad at their own self because they tried to say that they was a genius and smart and they tried to promise somebody something that had something to do with me and it did not, you know. And with the name April Williams and my marriage license, my guy should know People been trying to say that my wife is this or my wife is that. They call my wife that or thought or this. I don't know what any of this stuff mean or what them words mean. I'm not that smart. And then they said she was a hairy beast or they called her a beast or something like that or a witch or something like that. And since God is not a book or any of that stuff, I don't know if a witch is good or if a witch is bad. And I was told, you know, not to judge. So I'm not judging anyone. So it's some people that tried to judge people. Oh, and they tried to judge me. They locked me up a whole bunch of times. And I was told I was never supposed to be in jail ever. I was told my bones were never supposed to be broken. I wasn't supposed to have none of these scars on me. So my God should know it's been people it was saying that they was bigger than me and they had groups so that it was more of them than it was of me. And they abused me and they tried to treat me like a slave and stuff like that. And I'm not sure of who it was, you know, when the situation changed and they were saying somebody's name was April Williams and it seemed like it was not. I went to a church and I was abused at the church when I was trying to get some help during a pandemic. And it was on November 29th in Birmingham, Alabama. And you know, when I went to a church, I was abused. It was people that was claiming that they was part of a fraternal order or a family or a group and claiming that they had money. So my God should know how they treated me and what they did to me. And, um, I was abused, you know, stuff like that. And since I was already abused since I was like five years old and giving psychiatric pills, psych they call it psychiatric drugs from the drugstore and stuff like that, you know, it, it, it was people that said that they was a family and stuff like that. They said since they had their own businesses and since they was part of the groups and since they was older and since they been here, before I got here, they tried to bully me and they was talking bad stuff about my God. They was using names. They was calling they self God. They was using words for they name that they say mean the word God. They was using four letter words for they name and calling they self God. And they are not my God because my God don't use them words for a name, you know. I was told that the people that said, you know, that they was trying to help me, you know, they wasn't really trying to help me. They was doing that stuff because they'll get in trouble for what they already did to me and that I'm not supposed to be nice to them because they're not really helping me. Like, they was being mean to me. The only reason that they was doing this stuff for me is because they'll get in trouble if they don't because they are not God. And my God is God, you know, stuff like that. So some of the people, you know, was acting like they was helping me and they weren't telling the truth that they was just doing that stuff because they actually scared and they fear my God, you know, stuff like that. And um, some of the people that was doing that stuff, they was calling themselves vampires or Drake or Draconian or something like that, you know. And um, they had... Um, a different color skin than mine and um you know 
it was some other color one, you know. It, um, they tried to um make me look like the bad person and stuff like that. So I'm not sure what color they was, cause they was like different people tried to use different colors to make you blame the wrong person. So my guy should know. People tried to make me blame different color peoples for the stuff that they did, and I'm not sure what color they if they is or what color they was and stuff like that. So they tried to use me as a puppy, and I was sexually abused. People was having sex with other people and tried to use me as some kind of sex magic or medicine for their sex. And they tried to make me have sex with people that's the same gender as me and stuff like that. And they tried to say it was a bunch of different genders. They tried to trick me in a bad way. So my guy should know that stuff. I don't like it. And they said no means no. That means my guy should hear what I said about what they did and what they been doing. And they been playing with my money and stuff like that too, you know and my food or whatever. But I don't have all my stuff, you know. So yeah, I told.